Hello, dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkin and you're watching the latest financial calendar on Insta TV. The key event of this week will be the European Central Bank's decision on its benchmark interest rate. Besides, there won't be many economic events. We will touch on some of them. On Thursday, China will publish its trade balance data for November. Markets expect the surplus to decline to $46.30 billion. In October, trade surplus in China made up $49.1 billion, rising from $42 billion in September. Still, the result missed forecasts for an increase to $51.7 billion. Meanwhile, exports dropped by 7.3 percent and imports fell by 1.4 percent in annual terms. As a result, trade surplus narrowed by $12.2 billion compared with the previous year. On Thursday, the European Central Bank will announce its interest rate decision for December. The same rate of 0% is anticipated. At the previous meeting, the European regulator also stood pat on its key rate and asset purchase program as well. ECB President Mario Draghi said that the stimulus program was still needed to help the inflation hit the targeted level. He also noted that the euro area's countries should implement economic reforms actively in order to accelerate economic growth in the currency block. Besides, the official projected faster inflation rates in the nearest months amid high energy prices. Another important report will see the light of day on Friday. China will reveal its consumer price data for November. The CPI is expected to rise by 2.2 percent on a yearly basis. In October, the annual inflation rate accelerated to 2.1 percent from 1.9 percent in September. This reading is below the PBOC's targeted level of 3 percent. The regulator tries to stimulate slowing economy and inflation, but monetary softening does not change the situation much. However, input producer prices have been falling for over three years, setting the all-time record for China. In September, producer prices edged up for the first time since 2012 amid higher commodity prices. Besides, the following macroeconomic statistics will be also delivered later in the week. On Thursday, Japan will report on its GDP change and the United States will release its initial jobless claims data. On Friday, the United States will end the trading week with a consumer confidence report prepared by the University of Michigan. And this concludes the calendar of the latest financial events prepared for you by InstaTV team. Thank you and see you next week. Bye!